Time for the Scottish Grand National in there. It's a Grade 3 handicap over four miles, and the top one is a Fleet Lip for James Shea, trying to go for a Grand National double midget camera for David Robertson, De Bancher Man, Alex Cherry, Geralt, Paul O'Neill, Claude Monet, Paul Rhodes, Sheila, Craig Beckwith, the National Awaits, Joshua Sutherland, Charlie Two, Thomas Rogers, Hardy Accord, James Shea, Hail to the Victor, Leon Van Rensburg, Cartan Tantalus for Greg Allen, Fuerta Del Rey, Darren Thompson, Emma's Legend, February, Graham Clutterbuck, Slip Anchor, Paul O'Neill, August Sackart, David Robertson, Motafare, Danai, Alex Cherry, Balance Juna, Kevin Minahan, Swift Breeze, Stu Gray, Zinc, Kevin Minahan, Muldoon's Mirage, Martin Needham, Dromore Hill, Ryan Costello and Yavari Feature, Darren Thompson, they called in a very short run to the first, and... They all skip nicely over that first one. Plenty of birch flying though. And Yavari feature is going to settle down into the lead, it would seem. Although Zinc is going to put the outside the grey as they get over the second, which they're all safely over. And Zinc, Kartan, Tantalus and Yavari feature. Look like they're going to be the three to dispute the lead, but slip anchor. Now coming out of the pack, that one likes to go from the front as well. The pace is fairly slow as you'd expect 25 to take this is the third of them and they're all safely over the first three with Cartan Tantalus in the green in the middle of the leading three the grey on his outside is Zinc and the maroon jacketed horse on his inside is Yavari Feature and there's a gap of about three lengths to, to uh, slip anchor who's in third and after that one comes Hail to the Victim Garot, the second grey, then Motafare Dunai in the Alex Cherry colours, the third grey is forward to Del Rey, then on the inside is the National Awaits as they take the fourth, and all safely over that one, with Dromore Hill, just the back marker and Swift Breeze also towards the back, but the pace, as we said, isn't as quick as it was last week in the proper Grand National on this Fifth fence is next upon us, and we're all safely over that one then with Cartan, Tantalus and Zinc, who departed at before Beaches, I think, last week. In second, Yavari feature is third as they take the sixth. Which, once again, they're all over safely, but Swift Breeze was particularly slow at the back and is now just about the back marker. But Cartan, Tantalus and Zinc continue to dispute the lead from Yavari feature. How to the victor has made a very early forward move to go and join that leading group as they take the seventh and the first one's gone it's Muldoon's Mirage is out of the race so that's the commentator's charge out of it so Zinc is the leader then with Cartan Tantalus in second Slip Anchor is third and Yavari feature and Hell to the Victor then comes Geralt and Fuerta Del Rey and Mislich in February on the inside then the National Awaits and Claude Monet getting a bit closer. The two Alex Cherry horses are running together. Motafare, Dana and De Bancher Man, as are the two David Robertson horses, Midget Camera and Argus Sackart. And a little gap to a Fleet Lipton Hardy Accord, the two James Shea horses, winners last week, of course. Then after that one, Balance Junior. Charlie Twos towards the back as well. Dromore Hill has gone past Swift Breeze, who is the back marker. So the commentator's not doing very well in this race. Mine's fallen. Stu's is last, and Ryan's is last but one. And we'll concentrate on the front then. Cartan Tantalus in the lead. And Doug's doing best of all. Doug and Nick, they haven't got one in it. He's <laughs> Cartan Tantalus in the lead then as they take the eighth. Oh, and Zinc was right down on his nose there. Very nearly crashed out of the race early on. But it's Cartan Tantalus who's in the lead. Slip Anchor is second. Yavari Feature is third. And Hail to the Victor is fourth. And they take that next one. And over that one they all go. Swift Breeze definitely strutting today at the back. There's a long way to go yet. And Slip Anchor has now got through to take the lead. And so he likes to be. He's in the lead by a length and three quarters to Cartan Tantalus in second. Then Zinc and Yavari Feature as they take this next one. And Hail to the Victors after that one again at the back. Swift Breeze is jumping very slow and very really slowly and jumping very really laboured today as they come down to the 11th which they're all safely over and Slip Anchor continues to lead to Zinc in second Yavari feature in third and Cartan Tantalus four then comes Hail to the Victor and Garot then Sheila getting a bit closer the National Awaits and Emma's Legion February after that as they take the 12th which they are all safely over Come down to this next one, which will be the 13th. This was the middle middle obstacle, with leaving with 12 more to take. They've taken 12 at the moment. This one is the middle one, so it's slip anchor in the lead then. For a couple of lengths to Zinc in second. Yavari feature is third. Cartan Tantalus is fourth. And Geralt and Hail to the Victor. 
with Sheila on the National Heights and Fuerte Del Raz. They take the 13th. Again, they're all over it okay. Swift Breeze jumping a little bit better at the back now. Maybe that's the plan on that one to keep it detached until the race gets going in earnest. And the leader, Slip Anger, went right through the top of that one. And uh, we've lost one there as well. A fleet lift has gone, so last week's national winner has fallen. Well, there's a surprise then as they come down to the 15th and they skip over that. Now, and he's gone this time, Swift Breeze. So Swift Breeze looked like he was just getting his act together and he's crashed through that. So we've lost three now and with the greatest of respect to Stu and my horse, then the surprise one is a fleet lip, the national winner from last week, falling in the Scottish Grand National then. So they can't pass the winning post shortly they've got another circuit still to go and the race is wide open there zinc is in the lead he's taking it up again by about half a length to slip anchor is in second then cartan tantalus is third yavari feature is fourth then geralt and sheila and fuerte del rey the banisher man is getting a bit closer then the national awaits then claude Moreau, then midget camera and argus sackart then emma's legend february and hardy accord with balance junior charlie two motifare dane after that one and the one that's well out of shot is Dromore Hill. So they're racing downhill now then. With a little more than a mile and a quarter to go. And Slip Anchor and Zinc are disputing the lead. Slip Anchor by half a length to Zinc in second. Then a gap of two lengths to Yavari feature and hail to the victor. With Cartan Tantal still there. De Banshaman going well. National awaits has moved off the fence. And he's getting into a better position now as well as they skip over number 17. And Slip Anchor. He's the leader. At the 18th. Oh, and Hail to the Victor was down on his nose that time. So one or two of these have been making a few mistakes. For to Del Rey's now making a forward move around the outside. But Slip Anchor still in front. Probably by a length now to Zinc in second. Then there's a gap of two and a half. Two four to Del Rey and Yavari feature from Darren Thompson. Stable. Oh, he's gone. Four to Del Rey's gone just as it was moving into a challenging position. And Darren's having a lot more fallers this season than he usually does. And they come down towards the 20th now. They're in the jumping, catching one or two of these out. Mistake on the outside there. that time was by Sheila. But it's Slip Anchor who's in the lead from Zinc in second. Argus Sackart has now crept through into third. Claude Monet's trying to move around the outside. Hail to the victory is still there. The Banshee man's now coming through with a run as well. Good jump there by the Banshee man. Moves him into a challenging looking fourth position. But Slip Anchor is still in the lead. Zinc is now under a little bit of pressure. Argus Sackart and the Banshee man are trying to close on the leader. But we're getting out of our business end of the race now and it's slip anchor in the lead but only by about a head as the banshee man comes through with a strong looking challenge hail to the victors now trying to make a forward move as well They've got four more fences to take in the Scottish Grand National. The Banshee Man has got over to the rail. He's in the lead. He's leading by about two. Over the fourth last he goes. Good jump there by Argus Sackart in second. Now the National Awaits is trying to get into it. Slip Anchor's trying to sneak on. Hail to the victory. Still trying to run as well. So too is Claude Monet. But they're coming down towards the third last now. And it's the Banshee Man. Jockey has a little look over his shoulder. He thinks he's got plenty of horse underneath him. But the National Awaits is beginning to close. It's the Banshee Man in the lead from the National Awaits. Hail to the victory is now moving into third they race down towards the final two fences in now the banshee man skips over it nicely gets away from it well national um, the national awaits was slow over it so too was hail to the victor sheila's running on but it looks like the banshee man might only have to jump the last to take it jockey's full of confidence he keeps looking over he's racing towards the final fence in there he comes up to it he pops over it nicely he's pulling away by eight to ten minutes this is going to be a very very easy win for the banshee man you don't see many win these big races by this much the banshee man is winning it in a Cancer up towards like the Banshee Man takes it. Hail to the victor is well back in second. Then Sheila, Garok, Midget, Camera, and Slip Anchor in the National Awaits. Charlie 2 ran on towards the end. Emma's Legend February was a late faller and Dromore Hill was tailed off. And the Banshee Man makes a mockery of the handicap there, really. Well, absolutely storming up. And he was pretty close to top weight as well, being number three. So that's a pretty good performance. And we're worth looking at in the Moore's Millions final next week. <laughs> Doesn't get put up too much. And the Banshee Man takes it for Alex Cherry. Hail to the victor for Leon Van Rensburg was second. Sheila for Craig Beckwith was third. Geralt for Paul O'Neill was fourth. And Midget Camera for David Robertson was fifth.